The first step is to model the bomb, which we're going to do inside a new project. So we're going to say new project destruction underscore lesson. Uh, this creates a bunch of subdirectories that we helped organize uh, what we're doing here. And then we can save our file into that directory structure. And this will help us, especially if we want to like package up what we've done and share it with other people. Uh, we generally just organize um, our scene. So destruction 01 and we're ready to go. So we're going to press the uh, C key to bring up the radial menu. We're going to go down to geometry, down to sphere. Press enter to place at the origin. And this will uh, create a sphere. Now we could size it in the parameter pane there. but Instead we're going to use the operation controls up above. And this allows us to manipulate a node inside um, down at what's called the geometry level. Now to get to the geometry level, one of the ways we can do that is to press uh, 3 to go to edge selection and that will allow us to go in to the geometry level. Now we go to the top view and from there we can select these edges by just box selecting and we'll get the ones both at the top and the bottom. And when we press delete, instead of deleting the polygon we're going to dissolve the edges and we now get a single polygon sitting at the top and another one at the bottom. Uh, so now we need to select the faces, press 4 and then S to get the select tool. Now we can select that top face. We're going to use this to create the opening. Press C and go to Model, Polygon, Polygon Extrude. We get a little handle here. We can push this up to poly extrude out from the sphere. Now if we want to, we can actually type a specific uh, amount in there or we can just do it freehand. Now we're going to turn off output front so that we don't see anything at the top. Now we're going to scroll down to the bottom. We're going to press S again and we're going to select the bottom and press delete. Now we're going to press 3, double click around this edge and then we're going to go tab poly fill and this will allow us to create a better topology for the bottom of here if we go quadrilateral grid. So that's just a little nicer there. And we can just smooth it, change the smoothing setting to have it push in a little bit. That just gives us um, cleaner topology of quads instead of um, everything coming to a point. So now that we have this, we can go back to uh, primitive or face selection. We could press 4 for that. Press N. And again, we're going to go C, model, poly extrude. We're going to type in a value here of negative 0.04, which pushes that in. And we're going to say output back so that we see the geometry. Now in this case, because we went in the negative direction, everything is uh, inverted. So we can press N on that geometry and go tab reverse. And now um, it's looking right. It, the darker um, color on the geometry indicated we were looking at the back side. Now press S and 3. We're going to add some bevels into here. We're going to zoom in. Um, dolly in and we can now double click on these two edges here and press shift to get the second one and then we're going to go uh, poly bevel and then we can just type in a value or drag that there 0 0.005 and if we want it to just have a little bit of extra roundness to it we can just add um, an extra couple divisions and that will give us the round edge that we want now what we're going to do is press s Double click on this edge and we're going to do it again. So in, in that place you can press Q. Q will do a repeat of the node that was there before. And in this case we can go 0 0.01. So it's a little bigger than the one we used up above. And we'll again add some extra detail in there. So now we have the basic shape of the geometry that we want to work with. So the next thing we want to do is add a transform node in, which will allow us to position the bomb up sitting on the ground. So we originally made it 0.3 radius, so 0.3 will get us where we need to go there. And then we want to tilt it a little bit, uh, so we're going to rotate around the x direction 27 degrees. So that'll tilt it a little bit to the side, and that'll give us the look that we want. And that's done with a, this transform node here in the in the geometry level. Now we're going to tab and add a null node. 
This will be called bomb underscore out, and this will help organize the file when we use this geometry later. We can press L to organize the nodes and get the look that we want in the network. Now, once you have that, we can go back to the object level and give the object a name uh, if we want. So instead of sphere object, we're going to call this bomb underscore geo.